Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I'm your Viprajesh again. Tata Motors have finally unveiled their India Spec Production Tata Altros at the Grand Launch Media Drive event in Jaisalmer. At this launch event, Tata Motors have revealed all about their Tata Altros premium hatchback, including variant specification features and color options. Despite having five different color options, Tata Motors have preferred to showcase only two colors, namely the high street gold and downtown red colored Tata Altros for the media drive. In the gold color, the Tata Altros looks really premium, classy and sober, whereas in the red color, the Tata Altros looks fantastically sporty. The India Spec Tata Altros looks exactly similar to that of the Geneva Spec Tata Altros except for certain significant differences. The India Spec Tata Altros gets 16 inch machine cut, in fact laser cut alloy wheels which look really sharp and fine whereas the Geneva Spec Tata Altros featured 17 inch alloy wheels. The other difference is that the Geneva Spec Tata Altros received an all black interior cabin whereas the India Spec Tata Altros receives a dual tone black and grey interior theme with aluminium accents on the dashboard. Talking about details, the Tata Altros receive projector headlamps as standard on the top end variants. However, these are only halogen projector headlamps. The daytime running LEDs however are mounted in combination with the fog lamps which are located on the bumper. The top spec Tata Altros also receives a rear fog lamp just like on the Tata Nexon. The Tata Altros also receives a split tail lamp setup which have LEDs which look really sharp and aggressive in line with the overall design theme of the Tata Altros. However, the best highlight of the Tata Altros is that all four doors can open wide up to 90 degrees in angle, resembling the wings of the albatross bird. And another unique highlight of the Tata Altros is that the rear door handles are neatly uniquely hidden in the C-pillar. The top spec XZ optional Tata Altros also received a black roof with blacked out ORVMs along with chrome detailing. Talking about the interiors, the Tata Altros receives the exact same design theme we have seen on the Geneva Edition Expo car. Except for the fact that the Indian spec Tata Altros gets brighter and more colorful interiors with black and grey theme. The layout is more functional instead of form but however, the overall specification and features list is really long. The first of all is the steering wheel. Tata Motors have employed their new design steering wheel on the Tata Altros including cruise control functions as well. This is a flat bottom steering wheel which also has leather wrapping. However, what this steering wheel misses out is the telescopic adjustment for the steering column. This multifunction steering wheel also has buttons to control the TFT 7 inch instrument cluster which is actually a color screen with only the speedometer being analog. Now this setup is really familiar to us as we have already seen this on the Tata Harrier. Coming to the center console highlights, the Tata Altros receives a 7 inch infotainment touchscreen system from Harman with 6 speakers including 2 tweeters. This infotainment screen has been mounted on the center of the dashboard as a floating freestanding touchscreen just like on the Tata Nexon compact SUV. However, the dash top itself has been designed like a floating island, which also includes the center AC vents. Interior ambient mood lighting in the cool color of blue will be provided in this gap between the floating island design and the actual dashboard. The Tata Altros's infotainment system will provide connectivity options such as Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and the whole suite of Tata's Connect Next app collection, which also includes apps such as the Smart Remote app, Tata Motors Service Connect, etc. Apart from this, 
the 7-inch infotainment system will also feature voice assist and voice command functions as seen on the Tata Nexon and the Tata Harrier. Other features included on the Tata Altros are automatic temperature control, automatic headlamps, automatic wipers, a sliding adjustable center armrest, 15 liters of cooled storage in the glove box, and a good number of storage spaces all round inside the cabin, including umbrella holders inside the front doors. Coming to the rear seats, the Tata Altros seems to have good usage of rear seat space. Additionally, the rear seats have also been provided with separate AC vents and a 12 volt charging socket. The rear seats even get a center armrest for additional comfort. Whereas only the top spec Tata Altros will get adjustable headrests for the rear. Talking about boot space, the Tata Altros provides 345 litre of boot space capacity, which is around 5 litres more than the Maruti Suzuki Beleno. Additionally, the rear seats of the Tata Altros can also be folded flat to increase the boot space up to 600 litres. Safety features on the Tata Altros include dual airbags, ABS, EBD, corner stability control, ISOFIX child seat mounts, reverse parking sensors, engine immobilizer and auto door lock and unlock functions as standard. However, other features such as a rear wash wipe, reverse parking camera with guidelines and height adjustable front seat belts are available only on the top spec Tata Altros variants. Coming to the powertrains, the Tata Altros will be available currently in only two engine options, a 1.2-litre three-cylinder aluminium non-turbocharged Revotron petrol engine producing around 86 PS of power and a torque figure of 113 Nm through a 5-speed manual transmission. The next option will be a 1.5-litre turbo diesel engine which includes four cylinders and produces around 90 PS of power with a torque figure of 200 Newton meters, also through a five speed manual transmission only. Both these powertrain options will be available with an eco mode as standard as well. Interestingly, it is the petrol engine equipped Tata Altros top end variant which gets wider section tires than the diesel variant. The XZ Top end Tata Altros petrol variant gets 195 section tires, whereas the diesel XZ top end Altros gets 185 section tires. Additionally, the Tata Altros' petrol variants only get the automatic engine start stop function as well. The Tata Altros' on road pricing will be revealed by January 2020 only. However, dealers have started accepting bookings since 4th of December 2019. Tata Altros has a shorter overall length and wheelbase when you compare with the Maruti Suzuki Beleno. However, the width and height of the Tata Altros are significantly higher than the Maruti Suzuki Beleno. However, the ground clearance of 165 mm for the Tata Altros is around 5 mm shorter than the Maruti Suzuki Baleno. The Tata Altros seems like the best competitor to Hyundai's i20 and Maruti Suzuki Baleno, and it seems to even better them in certain aspects. However, it has its own faults. The first one being the absence of an automatic transmission. Tata Motors will be bringing in a dual clutch transmission for the petrol engine only at a later stage. The second one is the fact that the 1.2 liter turbo petrol engine which was rumored to be present at launch is not yet available and will not be available for a couple of months even after the actual launch. The third is the fact that the Tata Altros gets only dual airbags even on the top spec variant. Despite these flaws, the Tata Altros really seems like a solid, comfortable, feature loaded and desirable premium hatchback. It is also future ready given the fact that all the engine options available will be BS6 compliant. In fact, the Tata Altros 1.5 liter diesel engine will be the first BS6 premium hatchback in diesel category in India. So that was all about the first initial details of the Tata Altros after the reveal. Stay tuned for our further 
videos where we will detail all the individual variants of the Tata Altros in specific manner. So meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos. If you like this video, click the like buttons and give your comments.